welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. Hey there, and welcome to Francis Quilts. Today, I am getting ready to do some free motion quilting using rulers on one of the quilts that I've been working on for some time. The idea is that each of the white blocks will have a ruler design that looks kind of like a petal wreath or something like that in the center. I'm using Westerly rulers, and the first thing that I need to do is to get some registration marks on these blocks so that uh, I can tell exactly where to place the, the, uh, the ruler when I'm doing the quilting. There are many different ways that you can do this, and there are a number of rulers that are out there that are available. The one that I have that I really like is this. It is the Westerly uh, Crosshair Ruler, and it works very well, and I just want to give you a quick demonstration of, of what you can do with it. So let me draw a block on here, and then we'll be back. Okay, so here I have drawn on this piece of paper an 8-inch square, which we're going to pretend is the block that I'm about to quilt, and I have found the center of that square and put a dot. So I'm going to take my crosshair ruler, and I'm going to place it with the center of that, that mark in the center hole. Now this ruler is designed so that you can put a tack up underneath there, set the ruler down on the tack, and then you can rotate it wherever you need it to be. I haven't found a need to do that yet. It has been super easy just to, uh, to register, always register back to that center hole right there. So I have my, my ruler lined up on my block and I'm gonna put in four registration marks to begin with. So let's say that this, the pattern that I'm using is only gonna have four, four different rotations. So I have that and I have the registrations there. Now, if I was going to use this with my ruler, I would place my center there. I'd line up there. When I came back to the center, I'd turn it, line up with this end, do it again, etc., all the way around. But let's say I want to make it a little more complicated and I want to do eight rotations rather than just four. I can place my ruler back on there, line up the center dot, line up these four lines that I've already drawn, and let's draw the corner lines. Nice little grooves there that are super easy to work within. So now I have my eight lines drawn. Let's say I want to get really crazy and do 16 rotations. Can lay it down here, get it lined up. Now I'm going to rotate it again. Now I could, if I had that thumbtack in there, it would be easier to rotate, but I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm going to line up the center dot here, and then I'm going to line up these lines that I've already drawn on to line them up with the, the registrations on the rulers. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna draw my eight lines again. Let's take it off. And now we have a block mark that we could do 16 different rotations of the ruler uh, to finish the petal wreath. So I guess the next thing to do is just to head to the machine and do some quilting. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to subscribe. You can also find my blog at francisquilts.com and I'm on Facebook and Instagram at francisquilts and on Pinterest at francisquilts57. Hope to see you again soon. Keep on quilting.